Hi friends, welcome to Curious Vet channel. I am Dr. Marcina. The topic for today's video is Aspergillosis in Poultry. Let's see some synonyms of Aspergillosis. This Bruder pneumonia, mycotic pneumonia or pneumomycosis. Aspergillosis is a disease usually of the respiratory system. It affects mainly chickens and turkeys and less frequently ducklings, pigeons, geese, canaries and many other wild and pet birds. In chickens and turkeys, the disease may reoccur in some farms and in wild birds it appears to be sporadic, frequently affecting only individual birds. Severe outbreaks usually occur in birds 7 to 40 days old. Coming to the etiology and epidemiology of aspergillosis, Aspergillus fumigatus is a common cause of aspergillosis. Several other mold species may be incriminated such as Aspergillus flowers, niger, rhizopus, mucor and pencilium species. High mortality rates can be seen in chicks and fowls that inhale large number of spores during hatching or when placed on bedding contaminated with mold spores. In older birds, infection is caused primarily by inhalation of spore-laden dust from contaminated litter, feed or dusty range areas. In facilities with reoccurring infection, the air handling system should be investigated as a source of contamination. Coming to the clinical findings, the most common clinical findings of aspergillosis include dyspnea, labored breathing, fever, inappetence and emaciation. In this picture you can see labored breathing in a chick and less frequently a neurologic form might present with clinical signs that include torticollis and tremors. Now let's see what are the lesions of aspergillosis. In chickens and turkeys, the lungs and air sacs are most frequently involved. Primary lesions are commonly characterized by white to yellow plaques and nodules that we saw in the first picture and a few millimeter to several centimeter in diameter. Here you can see severe granulomatous fungal pneumonia. There is numerous firm white to yellow fungal granulomas diffusely distributed throughout the lungs of a turkey poll. This is diffuse granulomatous fungal air sacculitis. Numerous firm white to tan fungal granulomas of varying sizes diffusely distributed throughout the thoracic and abdominal air sacs of a turkey poll can be seen here. In this picture there is fungal plague and nodules. Single large flat white fungal plaque and multiple smaller firm white to tan fungal nodules present in the thoracic and abdominal air sac of a turkey poult. In rare cases, birds may present with diffuse pulmonary congestion only and occasionally mycelial masses may be seen within the air passages on gross examination. Here in the first picture you can see aspergillosis in the lungs showing large and extensive caseous nodules and in the second picture there is caseous nodules due to aspergillosis in the air sac. Let's see what are the histopathologic lesions. Granulomatous pneumonia with intralesional fungal hyphae and heterophilic infiltrates are the classic lesion, histopathologic lesion in aspergillosis. In this picture, you can see GMS stained cerebellar histomicrograph. GMS is grocot methanamine silver. And this picture demonstrates branching septate fungal hyphae consistent with aspergillus species in the cerebellum from a young chick exhibiting neurologic signs. In addition to plaques and nodules, uh, in the air sacs and uh, uh, lungs, there, uh, it can also be found in trachea, syrinx, liver, intestines and brain. 
Air sacculitis can be the cause of postmortem contamination in poultry intended for the food supply. An ocular form is seen in chickens and turkeys as mycotic keratitis. Large plagues may be expressed from the medial canthus. Coming to the diagnosis of aspergillosis, most commonly based on clinical presentation and gross lesions. Confirmation is by culture or histopathology. For the culture, sample, sample would then be placed on sabrodextrosagar or some other medium specific for the growth of mold and histopathologic examination using a special fungal stain reveals granulomas containing mycelia. This disease should be def differently diagnosed from infectious bronchitis, Newcastle disease, infectious laryngotracheitis, mycobacteriosis, cholibacillosis, oncogenic tumors, nutritional encephalomalacia, and other mycosis which causes respiratory disease. Coming to the treatment and control, there is no effective treatment. Treatment of affected birds for aspergillosis is generally ineffective and spontaneous recovery can occur if re-exposure to the mold is prevented. Mitigation strategies can include removing the bird from the contaminated environment, removal of contaminated materials to further limit the exposure, trying not to disturb the contaminated materials in order to limit further aerosolization of spores and increase ventilation or air exchange rate to possibly minimize the severity of outbreak. Strict adherence to cleaning and disinfection procedures for any contaminated environment like hatchery or barn will minimize the risk of future outbreaks. The use of moldy bedding or ranges should be avoided to prevent the outbreaks and contaminated surfaces may be sprayed or fumigated with enylconazole or other fungicidal disinfectant following the label directions. So that's all about aspergillosis in poultry. If you find this video informative, please like it and comment your suggestions and share the video with your friends. If you are new to this channel or not subscribed yet, please subscribe my channel and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. I will be uploading at least one video every week. So see you soon with another video. Thank you all.